Okay, today we will create speech bubbles using fusion shapes in DaVinci Resolve 17. Create a fusion composition and open it in the fusion page. Open effects library, expand tools on the left navigation menu, go to the shape folder. Drag S ellipse node and S render node to the editor, connect them to the media out node. Add a polygon shape node S engine. Insert a S boolean node between the ellipse node and render node by dragging it over and drop to the connection line when the line is highlighted. Connect the polygon shape node to the S boolean node. With the polygon node selected, go to the inspector panel, change the number of sides to 3. Select the boolean node and change its operation mode to union. Select the polygon shape, change the position so that the output shape looks like a speech bubble. Drag a S outline node and insert it between the boolean node and S render node, and we now have a transparent speech bubble with a border. Adjust the width, height and position of the ellipse node and polygon node until we have the bubble shape we like. Next, add a text node from the toolbar. Connect the text output to the S render output so that the text is merged to the final speech bubble result. Change the text and its look and feel as you like in the inspector panel. We now have a speech bubble done with a transparent background. Next we will add a background control to the bubble. Add another S boolean node to the node editor. Connect the outputs of ellipse and polygon shape to this new boolean node. With the boolean node selected, change the operation to union. To merge the new boolean result, drag the boolean node output to the S outline output. Select previous boolean node, go to the inspector, in the style tab, change the color so that it's different from the background, in this demo I set it to orange. If we want to change the border width, select S outline node, in the inspector adjust the thickness as needed. Select the second boolean node, we can change the background color of the speech bubble. In order to reuse this bubble in the edit timeline, we will create a new macro and save it as a generator template. Select the nodes in the order of which the exported parameters will appear in the inspector controls tab. For this speech bubble I want it ordered by the text, border, and followed by the background color. Holding the shift key and dragging the mouse to select the rest of the nodes, exclude the media out. Right click on one of the select nodes, choose macro, and create macro. In the macro editor window, rename the macro, for example, essential bubble oval. Check the parameters we want to export, in this demo I exported the text font, color, size, border color, border thickness, and background color. In the file menu, select Save as group, and save the template file to the generators folder. If it's not there yet you can create one. Close the macro editor window, go to the edit page. In the effects library, go to the generators. We can see the macro we just created is already listed there. Add it to the timeline, I also added a four color background for this demo. Select the speech bubble clip, in the inspector panel we can adjust the text and colors to our needs. If we want to change detail settings, we can select the clip and go to the fusion page or click the fusion icon in the inspector panel and adjust properties of individual nodes in the fusion page. We can also change transform settings of the bubble clip in the edit page to rotate, resize the bubble or add keyframe animations as you want. To create a rectangular speech bubble, we can replace the ellipse shape with a S rectangle shape and change the settings to our liking. With the corner radius setting, we can also add round corners to the bubble. Repeat the same step to create a macro template for this rectangle bubble. We can now use both bubble shapes in the timeline and adjust their looks and feels in the edit page. Okay, that's all for now, thanks for watching, and see you next time.